Ha! Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Wee Show. <laughs> yeah. We got a special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, visual artist, Skinner. <laughs> hey, all right. All right hey, there, nice to meet you, Stevie Weeby. God damn, you gave me the best t-shirt on the face of the there planet. You go, Oh, God, who the hell was that? I don't know. Oh, my God. Hey, dude, it's finally good <laughs> hey, meeting you. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you for inviting can me I, Can I show off your your shirt here, though? Yeah, please um, do. I'm so glad. Well, I like love you. your art style. Okay. I didn't mean to jock too hard, but, dude, it's right down my lane. <laughs> okay. like, dude, hold up. Look at this beauty. Yeah. I mean. Hell, yeah. Look at this. Hey, so, so yeah. what we got going on here yeah, is... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Break the, it down. All the different aliens from the universe. and yeah. uh, But these are sort of collectively, like, from the, the movie Communion. Oh. And, and from, uh, like, b basically also one of my favorite forms of folk art is mm. when people have... Uh, encounters with supernatural beings, they do drawings of them. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Linda Moulton Howe, uh, yes. in her book, she has... <laughs> yeah. I, a lot of them are like amateur artists. Totally. Well, it's just people that have never drawn yeah, before. Yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah, so so basically, the reptile, this is my version of an old folk drawing. And then oh, wow. these are the weird... Uh, Norwegian yeah, ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like yeah. uh, Palladians or the tall Those whites. Those are the Palladies, yeah. and then we got the Arcturians yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. I threw in, uh, yeah, the Blue Doctor, which yeah. is uh, very, very scary. What about the? Do you have the mant, uh, the praying mantis? There's praying mantis ones too, right? That uh, the, operate the UFOs and stuff. Some yeah, of them. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Those ones came later, but you got yeah, the yeah, gray. Yeah. You got the hybrid oh, gray. Everything's beautiful. Just the Thanks. whole aesthetic. Is and then great. this is the uh, Bohemian Grove owl, which oh, I did. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> oh, and then I mean, we're, we're, you're get, starting off hot, huh? Well, I just we're gonna uh, bring up Ronald Reagan. Well, you know, you know, but you know, <laughs> no, but the, the funny thing is that I I feel like aliens for the most part are kind of not political but then once you bring in like the bohemian grove it like weirds people out because alex jones remember he had, oh yeah he snuck in he snuck one of those, in, <laughs> he snuck he in and he whatever. was like yelling and yeah. like he was yeah that's one of my favorite alex oh jones they were they were worshiping but, moloch right yeah the, the, yeah, the, moloch, the, the, yeah the owl yeah, yeah. the burning owl yeah and then supposedly there was all the government officials and presidents ex-presidents that used to attend yeah. And they did blood sacrifices to yeah. Moloch. And it, usually what I think it is a sort of a elitist uh, hangout. Mm. I don't really think there's a lot of blood sacrifice. I don't know. You know, but but the thing, the reason is that I brought this stuff is because uh, I listen. Because, you know, what I like to do is sort of study people that I'm hanging out with like if it's a podcast because I don't want to go into it like being like, I don't know who the fuck you are or right, what you do. Right, right. So I really like just looked up hot Stevie Weeby clips and there was a lot of uh, <laughs> there was a lot of them where you're talking about like I don't know just sort well, of Well it's either micro penises or aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Choose one. Yeah. <laughs> Choose yeah. one. But um, yeah, so I, I was like, oh okay, I can get into this. Yeah. Because, because I you know I researched it like my whole life. But. Well even your um shout out to my cousin Eddie by the way. Yeah Eddie e Lee. Eddie F T C O G back in how did you how did you link up with my cousin? Uh, what happened was basically th this is like a small world because essentially I was in Sacramento. It's it's hot. Shout There's, out to Sacktown. Shout out Sacktown. Losco Projects too, my homie Nathaniel. Yeah, go N keep nine one six. Yeah, shout out 
my brother-in-law James Harris. He loves you so oh, okay. much. So he's, Give he's him some James. Love. Yeah, What's he's up? here. He's here. Yeah, and then he I'm, made it to the big leagues. <laughs> <laughs> James, I made, you made it. it. I made you it. You basically <laughs> made it in Hollywood. You made it on the Stevie Weeby we show. We are subscribe <laughs> today to my YouTube channel. Exactly. Yeah. But no, I you're uh, I met your cousin because he was the manager of Upper Playground and FTC yeah. and FTC in Sacramento, yeah. and uh, I met him and I said, hey. I need to, I want to do our show, you know, and he's like, oh, yeah, uh, you st- at that, the upper, you know, like yeah. that other level in the back, that artwork. Mm-hmm. And stuff. Yep. Yeah. So I did that, but I didn't want to keep having shows in Sacramento because there wasn't a lot of opportunity there. Like I love Sacramento, but there's, it's just, it, it's just really difficult to be a creative there. Why like, is that? It's, uh, the bar scene or something. Or what? <laughs> no, it's just, you know what? It's just not, M- metropolitan enough or something. There's no industries there or anything. Because like, in LA, every every other weekend's an art show, right? And yeah, the, the, the art shows or like stuff. you know you can design stuff mm-hmm. or or you know have a show or do murals and stuff. Because mm-hmm. when I lived there, now it's covered in murals. But when I lived there, it was like no murals. Wait, aren't there graffiti crews out there too? I mean, oh yeah, there's illegal big in the Bay Area. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, yeah. there was there graffiti was huge in Sacramento too, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. um. But anyway, so I met Eddie. He was amazing. He was really sweet. I, I painted a, a a bunny rabbit skateboard for his, him for his girlfriend or something because yeah. I was like, oh, maybe he'll let me have an art show if I paint him. A, you know. Yeah. So I was like, oh, hey, I got a skateboard. Yeah. And um, and then I had the show there, and then it kind of just took off from there because I saw that the you know juxtapose was connected to upper playground uh, what just tell uh, the viewers and listeners what juxtapose is <laughs> well juxtapose used to be a okay. magazine that yeah. that uh was highlighting a lot of like blue collar art or like like graffiti tattoos skateboards comics you know like yeah. just stuff that affects us and it was not fine art and this is pre-internet correct yeah, this yeah, is pretty. This is how you got on, basically. Oh, this was fully how you got this on. This is fully. This is like a skater getting in Thrasher or something. Yeah, like it was. Day. And yeah, it was yeah. huge. And I was like, oh, uh, I gotta get into this magazine, man. Cause mm-hmm. if I if I don't, then I can't quit my job. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> now, um, did you now artists back then is it, are we talking the nineties here or the No, 2000s? oh god. <laughs> oh, <'cause>, uh, <laughs> I know my mummy skin is <laughs> no, looking. No, no, no! Like, I'm old. I'm old. That's why you know me. How old are you? Know. I'm 44. I'll yeah, be 40, 45 this. 40 something, man. See, you're still, yeah, 40 but something, man. yeah, but got a couple years. You on look me. young. You look, Four, and your thanks, spirit man. is strong. It's that reptilian blood. Yeah, yeah, you it got keeps it. You young, yeah. man. You know. Yeah, that's reptilian. why I identify with the reptilians, man. <laughs> they visit me, man, in, interdimensionally. Definitely. You know. You um, have interdimensional spirit. I in think you. you think so. I, you know I what? Hope so. This is the thing. Going back <laughs> on the alien tip, you know, for, for the most part, people are, are petrified to get abducted. Yeah. I invite it. Please abduct me. Oh. I, I want to get abducted. Why do you want to get abducted? Just to check, experience some mouse, man. I know really? what this plane yeah, has yeah, to offer. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're we like. We know. We're in our 40s, dude. We know what the plane yeah, has but to I, offer. Yeah, I, but I actually, uh, I would love for aliens to meet you. And be like, oh, Stevie's gonna be our leader now. I this think be maybe, tight. maybe I think that maybe on some planet I might be a leader there. Hey, let me ask and, you. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Uh, you're you're interested in in UFO stuff and like, uh, you know, AM coast to coast and Art Bell and stuff yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. We we talked about Art Bell and um the 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 the, the reason why I like like Art Bell because it's something you could just have on the background mm-hmm. and you could I mean I'm sure you've listened to Art Bell while you're painting or doing art. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's something you could just uh-huh. have on the background, but yeah. then. It's interesting enough to, yeah. to to keep it on and then keep doing a, a separate thing. Well, it's 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 great, but like, yeah, if a guest is not good, it kind of very quickly turns into like a long droning right, story. Right, but right. but the thing is, is that some of the guests, just the subject matter, is so creepy and messed up. Yeah, that you're, like when the guy who comes on, who's like studying the patterns of all the people who have been missing in public parks and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's there's some that were there's some episodes that I listened to that scared the the wits out of me where yeah. it was almost like a horror movie like the exorcist. Yeah, it's uh, scary. The, the one on e, the specifically EVP electronic voice phenomenon. Oh where, yeah, where that's they would terrible. take these they would take these recorders yeah. in like old cemeteries or old schools and they would catch like real uh-huh. Ghost spirits. Yeah, sounds and yeah, shit. Yeah, of like yeah. they had a kid, man. 
I don't know if I could. I mean, I don't know if it's this is YouTube. You know what? It's fine on YouTube. Um, yeah. There was a. It was an <laughs> old some kind of school where a kid. You could hear water, mm. and then you could hear a kid getting drowned or something. Oh, it was like really? his last breaths. He's like, "Help me, help!" Yeah, and then you could hear the water, him getting oh. submerged into the water. So those episodes, I'm like, I'm cool off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool off that. Yeah, the sounds of children drowning, yeah, or drowning. drowning or deaths, yeah, or yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Chil- so- <laughs> children drowning <laughs> through like a, a distorted, distorted. Uh, vocal <laughs> harmonizer, <laughs> <laughs> some analog filter. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. Yeah, I don't well, know why we're laughing no, at but, that. But let me ask you. Let <laughs> yeah. Me ask you, so you, you, so, have, are you familiar with MUFON, the um, the the community of uh, the yeah. like? It's like, uh, it's like. How do you spell it? M U F O N. Can you write that down? Please? Yeah. What is so, that an acronym? I think it is. Yeah, okay. I think it's like for the the UFO network. It's the it's the something UFO network, and yeah. it's basically you. It's a it's like UFO enthusiast people meet and they have their it's like it's like they have their own groups where you can go and i went to the one in sacramento how much is the fee at denny's it's free so is it like it's fully some x files like like side shit where it's like an x files episode about wacky ufo motherfuckers and like the dudes look like jeffrey Dahmer or something dude it is i just want to know what they look like i want to know what i'm working with there well, it's well. I'll say it's yeah. I mean, you're gonna get some a variation on Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, but but most white people are a variation of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> so so you're gonna see it. But it's like preppers. You're keeping it real. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, dude, I was raised by them. I'm scared of them. Yeah, so I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. you're talking about like a white family, just people, like a just, white middle class family. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Or whatever. So what you know? Suburban be cool? Dahmer. You would be cool if you saw like a Nicaraguan dude. Yeah. With glasses well, but, in the corner, and he's just. But I you think know. that you would find it, yeah, Nicaragua. I, a Nicaragua. Or, you know, just I, w- I would dude, pray for dude. a Nicaraguan so to save all, me from all, these people. It was, <laughs> so it was all white at a Denny's. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's. Well, it's in Sacramento, and Sacramento has like a diverse demographic, but mm-hmm. for the most part, I find that. You know, people who are really into um, conspiracy, the conspiracy stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. crazy white people, you know. Yeah, why do you think that is? I, you know what? Um, I think I think that it it might have something to do with uh, I don't know, just like a like at being at the top of a social uh, hierarchy. Oh, something like that. Yeah, because because this is what I my my theory is. Well, you keep talking. I want to before because I wanted to. Uh huh. Can you I grab that? Yeah, while grab you keep it, talking? Grab yeah, yeah. Let me but grab that. My theory is that people develop a lot of philosophies and concepts based on how much time they have. Yes. And a lot of times, like my friends in Oakland, like my black friends, like don't seem to have time for to a, do lot, that. a lot of bullshit. Because <laughs> they're working. <laughs> yeah, they're doing <laughs> they're something. They're trying to pay the bills. Yeah, or something. And yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, okay. Blue you know, collar down to earth. Sure, or, yeah. or just like, that's crazy shit. I don't want to know about yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you I, know, I've met people like that, too. I, <laughs> that's like most people <laughs> probably out there working blue collar jobs. Right. But they're working two jobs. They're just trying to, you know, yeah. make their ends meet. But I think you should go to a MUFON meeting. You know what? I, I'm open to that. I, I would go with you. Oh, I, would I wouldn't love. go. I would not want to go solo. <laughs> You'd have to. I'd come, be the I'll only Asian dude in there. Yeah, like, yeah, hey no. guys, this is this where move on me. Yeah, yeah. They totally. would be like, oh, I think you got the wrong yeah. thing. Um, well, now, let's talk about it. We don't have to talk, talk about, about it. This. I, I, I keep pushing the UFO no, agenda. No, no, no. I want to. All gonna, right, we'll, keep, gonna, we'll go back. We'll, we'll go back. All right. Okay, there's okay, always okay. room to go back, but okay. I wanted to really. Oh, thank you. you this know, is my beautiful show your beautiful thing. art, it's man. It's a poster for my film that's a, that I'm trying to fund right now. It's yeah. called Shrine of Abominations. It is a stop motion fantasy horror film, and it's totally insane. And the Kickstarter is doing good, but and then you saw and you saw it at the beginning of this episode. Yeah, as we speak, you saw that's the trailer. what you saw. You saw the trailer. Now, man, I love your art style. Like, when did you kind of <laughs> get this this style going? Well, you know what? Um, I grew up loving comic books, of course, and, mm-hmm. and monster films and, you know, paintings and fantasy stuff. So I just kind of kept going. And it's kind of an amalgamation of like fantasy art and graphic art and comics and like 
you know, crappy monster posters from the 60s. And yeah, stuff. yeah. It's sort of psychedelic, though, too, a little right, bit. Right, right. You know? And like then, um, so did you, so I'm, I'm guessing you grew up with horror movies, and later in life you got into psychedelics. I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah. I, but, but the thing is, is that the psychedelics don't really influence my art as much Why as Why not? It, well, it, it, psychedelics to me influence more like my, my um connectivity to things or my mindset like you know what i mean yeah like like yeah. i feel more like drug like psychedelic drugs are more about knowing yourself and psychedelic art to me is like the slow it's like years and years and years of doing psychedelics or being um or like loving the uh sort of blissful nature of color yeah you know, you know yeah. what i mean now <laughs> what about what about dimensionally as far as uh <laughs> Have you ever had bad trips? Dude, I had a... Because sm- I've had some hellish... I ones. smoked DMT and met like... I, I, I'm glad you brought that up. I, I met a... I'm uh, put this beautiful Okay, put piece. it down, yeah. yeah. yeah for now, and but. try to support the Kickstarter if you like, but we're going to talk about entities now. <laughs> can, I ha- can I have that? Yeah, that's for you. I brought it. Yeah, for sure. Can yeah. you sign it at the very end? Yeah, of course. End? Absolutely. I will frame that. Okay. I want to frame that. That's That belongs in a home. Standard yeah. uh, 24 by 36 inch um, frame. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm, you know, I'm sober, but I do. Yeah. I don't look down on people who smoke weed or yeah. even mess with DMT or you know stuff to expand okay. their minds or whatnot. Because sure. I've I've dabbled in that. Okay. Yeah. And you, so, yeah. but I have never DMT came later. Uh huh. Down that uh, path. Oh, okay. In life, when I was already sober. So, but can you describe to me what your first experience or what your some of your experiences were like? Oh, well, the DMT one, I. Because I never saw any like specific entities a couple times when I smoked it. I just sort of felt an overall blissful kind of um, awareness, I guess. But I did smoke some DMT one time, and this entity was like basically revealed itself and was like very aggressively like changing shape in front of me. You shape shifting? Yeah, and it was moving and it was turning in on itself and it was expanding and contracting and moving, but it was making eye contact with me the whole time. And it was basically letting me know that I was abusing the drug. It was like letting me... Now, how did you know that? That was the feeling. Cognitively. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not honoring... I'm not honoring the usage of this drug because I'm just doing it kind of for fun and I'm doing it and there's a bunch of noise and the city sounds are around. And How I, often were you doing it? Oh, this was not, nah, not that much. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. But you get a little rock like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get yeah. that rock, dude. <laughs> oh. No, but I had it, but I had an art studio and yeah. the, my, the, the guy that was my landlord at the art studio would be like, super old school hippie guy like yeah. like worked at the circus and stuff and he would be like hey skinner what's going on hey man i just talked to some guys that make this this dmt and he would like hand it to me it would be like freshly made like Whoa. dmt from some like you know um professor right. from something and i'm like <laughs> oh put, hell yeah i'm fit to smoke this shit you you put it in a bong or is it yeah you put it in a bong no, it has like kind of a weird taste, kind of a, a, a tangy kind of a taste. Right. But but if you you're supposed to take hold like big hits in and succession. Hold it in, and hold it in. Yeah, I, th- I think hold it in. Maybe. I don't know. I, I think I kind of did, but I can't remember because once you hit it and then all I of a sudden. You, I heard you get blasted into yeah. a, a rocket or something. Well, you get it depends on the, the amount. That you well, I, you know, I, I, I look at other content like, uh, you know, Joe Rogan talking about, D, you know, DMT. Yeah. And he said that, uh, <laughs> he said that um, when he smoked it, like it, it, he, you just go you just blast off into outer space. Or. Well, I think it kind of depends on the way in which you use it, too. Or like right. like because if you take like an insane bong load of anything, you're going to go off into space. <laughs> right, right, right. So do you. Salvia. Or yeah. <laughs> so did. So. So did these? Uh, was it an alien? Kind no, of dude. Picture? It was like it was like uh, its head was sort of vaporous, but it its body was like angles, like sh- colorful sh- shifting shapes and things happening. And right. yeah, I was like, oh man, what color? Fuck. Was- I mean, I got scolded by a galactic entity yeah, galactic- for using drugs. I mean, what color was it? What color was oh, it? Oh, every color. Dude. Oh, so it there's colors like- that you can't that aren't even here. There. 
I mean, right. I'm just guessing. I'm just, I, yeah. I mean, I think there, there are color. I mean, I guess the thing is, is that if you developed a stronger sense sensibilities or connected with maybe a, an extra sensory kind of part of your brain that you could understand that there's another color there, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Cause and the, it was just one or was it a group of them? It was just one and it was an, in my face. Was it a female? Did it have a, Oh like, no, I don't it, know. It was a, they, it, it was, was a, it they, was them. They. It, it was, was they. they. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, so, they. It was they. so when you looked at it, it was like a legion, but in one, it was, it was, uh, it does had that, does the that power make sense? of the universe. Oh yeah, sure. So it was yeah. a one entity, but a legion of different entities in one entity. It seemed like one, and it was mad at me. <laughs> it was mad. Now, did it have horns and stuff? No, no, no. It was. It was like I'm. Tr- I'm trying to explain. It's like it was moving in such rapid succession it, that it was like I couldn't. It wasn't like one or two or three. It was like moving and morphing and changing. But like, C- can I do three? I'm gonna let me try to depict. Yeah. What you're saying. I'm going to do three different examples. Okay, tell me this which, sounds good. Tell me which one is uh, mo- the most accurate, okay. right? Okay. Ooh, I, this one feels good. Okay, yeah. so that was my first one. Okay. This is the second one. Mm, no, not that one. But that one's kind of scary, too. Or this, <laughs> or, or, this, or this one. Or this one. This is my last one. Okay. A, B, this is C. Okay. No, it was the first one. Okay, okay. It was, it was, the, first it was the first one. Because if it was doing that last one, I feel like, oh, I could probably run away from right, this. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, Jacob's Ladder? Yeah. But remember, shit, yeah. remember one of the images of the, mm-hmm. the thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that movie really f- that fu- scary, that, that movie huh? fucked me up. What's that movie um, about the, the doctor who goes into the sleep, uh, the deprivation, the sensory deprivation tank? Altered. And, yeah, altered Alter states. Minds. Altered, altered states, states, altered yeah. states. Yeah, it was kind of wild. Oh, God, that huh? really, that's really showing your age. <laughs> Let's Is it? it? <laughs> yeah. You guys know we have... <laughs> I remember seeing that in VHS. Oh, really? <laughs> that was on, Damn. Well, that, well, dude, we're in our 40s, know, man. Come I, on. I know. We, we grew up. Before, I mean, now kids, God, they have it so good now, huh? But back dude, then, we had to go to Blockbuster. You, we had to go to video stores, Dude, man. going to Blockbuster was the, the greatest oh, ri- that was ritual like, of all that time. That was the best. Dude, let's, I'm glad you, let's take a walk. Dude, it was fun. Lane. I mean, here's the thing. Well, is tell that, me what Blockbuster is. A lot of these. Okay, Blockbuster a the was the place that, where you could rent a VHS. Well, <laughs> you, had, you had to physically go to the place, and you would have to rent the movie on VHS. Yeah. And how much was it? About three three dollars and fifty like three four dollars dude and if you returned it late you the get, late a, fee was you'd a, get a late fee you would get a late fee <laughs> every day yeah yeah <laughs> so so the thing on a friday the, the, <laughs> best, <laughs> the um, best thing to do on a friday uh-huh. is you get three movies for yeah. the weekend yeah yeah so i remember i'm like oh i remember watch them a couple times i remember getting remember that movie red dawn the original red dawn Patrick Swayze, yeah, dude. Oh, man. dude. That movie was that epic. Movie, yeah, I remember getting that, and yeah. I was just like, that was my Friday night. Yeah. But uh, so you kids got it good. Yeah. The um, <laughs> uh, the I guess the I guess the algorithm as far as the uh, analytics on this, there's I I don't have many forty year olds watching this. It's twenty five to thirty five year olds. Okay, so should we like should we just <gasps> should we not tell them like how how the difference between our generation when we, when we were dating and then now how they're dating because listen i listen oh, check this out back, oh go y'all, no, okay i have if you one wanna, if i have one thing to say real hallway, quick though, re- no one thing really quickly to say yeah is that i would i there you know in sacramento and and like my my wife that we've been together for like 20 years now Congratulations. Right? oh yeah it's yeah. it's That's just cool deal. so I would go, oh, I wonder where she's going to be. And then it would be like, I would look in the newspaper to be like, what bands are playing? Oh, she probably likes this. So I would go there. Or I'd be like, oh, she's not here. There's a bar, whatever. Right? You just kind of guess. Mm. Nowadays, if you show up mm-hmm. to like somewhere where like a girl is that you know or you like or whatever, it's like stalking because you could just see it on their Instagram or something. It's just a different vibe. Oh, you know what I mean? yeah. Like, like yeah. it's a, like back then I could just be like, I'll go, I'll just try to have a beer at every place around town. See if she's there. Maybe she will be. I don't know. It'll be cool. Oh yeah. You know what? That's interesting. But now it's yeah. like, what are you doing here? Ted? Yeah. I, I, like you saw my Instagram. You knew I would be here. Like they saw the feed. You saw my feed. Yeah. Go away, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, there's just differences that I don't know. I think that, uh, there was some like pretty fun, like 
you know, fumble experiences that we well, had. Well, it's like you had a man up. You had a man up, and actually, if you wanted to ask a girl to prom or homecoming, yeah, prom. you couldn't do it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you would actually have to, Dude. you would be nervous in like third or fourth period. You'd be like, okay, okay, so I'm going to, okay, I, I have to do it now. And I have to do it now. And then Dude. it's it was on your mind. And then the, 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 the bell would ring. And then you would ha- have to man up. Yeah. And just sack up. When the bell And rang. then walk <laughs> up. And then, and you know, there's other people around. There, there's consequences. And there's, you could fail. You yeah, could fail. What I used so. to do is write it in Gogurt on the ground. Will you go to the prom oh, okay. with me? <laughs> but, but, well, you did it in a creative way. <laughs> That's creative. No, but you know what? I, but here's one thing. Imagine the cringe that we would have posted. Like, I, like I'm glad that there was no internet when I was bef- before I was even like whatever, 26 or whatever, like 25. Like, no, there was there was MySpace, but I wasn't really on there. You know oh, what I mean? But like, God, imagine, you're right. you're imagine right. like the what lo- you'd be posting at eighteen. Well, how about this? You're a bully in the locker room, oh. and you're get you know you're putting on your tidy whities and then he goes, "Hey Lee," and you turn around, and then he, he with his iPhone he takes a picture of your your nuts, yeah, and then he goes, <laughs> "I got gotcha. you," and then next and then thing you upload. know, the whole school has a they seen Dude, a picture of your nuts i think that like i think that um sexting like is a total problem like you like everybody in the whole school would definitely see your balls in your dick by the time you're out of high school everybody sees everybody's balls and dick and, and they would and, be like rice dick rice dick. oh no there's no way they say that no <laughs> what, 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 that's what, fucked up what, what do you mean? they say that it's like a grain of rice or is it a racist thing what's going tell me explain that to well, me don't worry about it Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> rice dick, <laughs> rice dick, <laughs> rice dick. No, no, no. I mean, I, no, no, we're talking. What? Come on. No, hold on. We're talking hypotheticals. This yeah, is, yeah. This is not I mean, in theory, Wait, it's a not rice. This is reality or anything. Yeah. I'm bigger than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. For sure, yeah, I'm bigger. Big, I mean, wait, do you believe me? Yeah. I, no, no, no. Look at me in my eyes, though. You're like looking away. Well. Yeah, wait, hold on. No, no, seriously. I'm going to ask you again. Well, I feel no, like no, no, if no, you. I'm going to ask you again. Okay. Do you believe that my penis is bigger than a piece of rice, Skinner? I think it's the same as a piece of rice. How can you keep looking that way? Here, no, let me ask you. No, again. I don't no, believe no, no, it. No, 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 no. Because you keep squinting right. your eyes looking away. Skinner, seriously. Mm-hmm. Do you think my penis... Hold up. Let me give, give you a, yeah. a, a visual. I think it's like a what? can of cream corn. How about that? Yeah, that. <laughs> Skinner, is it, bigger, well, is it bigger than this? I, ho- I sure hope so. No, uh, no, I'm so- <laughs> I can't work with that. All right, yes, it's big. Yeah, for sure, bigger than that. No, no, I want, I want you to really be convincing. Don't just say it. Your to- dick is definitely bigger than that, Stevie. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm gonna ask you one last time. All right, right, last no, time. No, no, no. Do you think I'm a little? I'm bigger than this. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> But also, I would love you if you weren't. It's fine. I love. Now, I, let's say hypothetically, <laughs> I was, let's say hypothetically, this was me. I mean, no, no, no. Can can a woman yeah. work with this? For sure, dude. Really? For sure. Yeah, for sure. With this, because I feel like if that was my dick, I I could probably do something with it. With this, you got to make some kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Super small uh, fleshlight thing for that. I don't know. Actually, the what, friction looks what you, limited. What do you mean a super small? That you would put, be uh, like a piece of tissue paper mm, with like dipped in Vaseline or something? I think like if you just go like. <laughs> Dude, don't, <laughs> please don't do the lizard. I please think, don't. I, 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 I want to unsee that immediately. Ra- Holy smokes! I think Please you never do the lizard tongue in here. Don't do, don't do the gecko tongue. Don't ever do that. It in does here. look weird, right? Yeah. The tongue is weird. Yeah. I don't have a cool tongue. Yeah, it's bad. yeah, yeah. Don't curl it like that either, please. <laughs> please don't do that. Please don't do that. Come on. The tongue is so curlish. Um, the thing is, it's like uh-huh. let's say that was somebody, and we'll get off this. I just like bringing that. I mean, this is something I brought Dude, up. Dude, I on love the show. penis talk. Don't yeah, worry. You, oh, you don't? Okay. Uh, I no, mean, I but, do. But then, I love we it. Gotta, we have to worry about the, the the YouTube the the flags though. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. okay. yeah. Okay. Um, so we could um just yeah. say, you know what? We'll get off it. We could both work hypothetically if we had someone. Yeah. We would make <clears> it work. For sure. And then on to the next topic yeah. is, woo. Yeah. The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall. Right. Let's 
So so what's this all about? So Manly P. Hall like basically pulled together all the like occult teachings and stuff for Masonic, Hermetic, Rosicrucian, Rosicrucian symbolic philosophy. And it's really interesting. Um, I you know I'm I'll, I'll say this. I'm like really obsessed with lots of things, but I'm not necessarily like. Oh man, and then the Illuminati, and mm -hmm. you know, I don't go off into the deep end. I just re research it and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, Manly P. Hall actually has an education like temple, like a weird temple in, in like in, Scientology in, in L.A. No, it's oh. it's just a place where you can go listen to people do talks about um, uh, occult stuff. And, right, right. Yeah, it's a library. Yeah, mm -hmm, it's a library. Have you checked it out? Yeah. Before? Oh, oh, see. Oh, so my intern even knows. Yes. I need to get out more. Oh, you do. You yeah. know about this. Oh, stuff. you do. Wow. So this, I don't know if this is as cool as the large scale book because I like that because it has more art in it. But there is a lot art section in there. But can I, I read, can I read a little bit of the back? Yeah. Uh, as far as the description, it yeah. says this key to the world's esoteric traditions unlocks some of the most fascinating and closely held secrets of myth, religion, and philosophy. Yeah. Unraveled in its beauty and completeness, it distills ancient and modern teachings of nearly 600 experts. Compelling themes range from the riddle of the Sphinx and the tenets of the Pythagorean astronomy to the symbolism of the pentagram. Oh, symbolism of the pentagram? Yeah. The significance of the Ark of the Covenant and the design of the American flag. So it really breaks down like mm -hmm. things that we kind of overlook, you know, just throughout history. Uh, yeah. Things just like. Uh, I think there's a lot of subtle things. Wait, there are. Of, there is art. In yeah, here. there's some cool stuff in there. Are you inspired? Uh, oh, in yeah. About? Tons. Yeah. I mean, I, I like. This. I mean, this is this is kind of on some Masonic shit too. Um, some of it is, but I think that the Masonic, you know, all the Masonic stuff is in a lot of ways is sort of like a, you know, it's like call like a college. What do they call that? The college uh, kids hanging out in the, the like d d Delta, uh, whatever that yeah. is, like like a college group. It's like a drinking soror oh, a sorority. It's right. like a sorority for people of affluence. No, this know? is talking about the key to Dante's Divine Comedy. D doesn't Dante also have like different realms of sure. hell dimensions? And yeah, stuff yeah, like they're that? all they're uh, all. Am I there. am I kind of yeah, far off? No, you're I, not. I'm on. You're not. And then I'm just I just turned to this random page, but doesn't that look? Can you see that? Doesn't that look a bit like UFO? Kind of like, yeah, of didn't that kind of look? It's awesome. So what? It, can you break the? <laughs> can you break this diagram down? Let me see. Yeah, and describe what it is the, the Dante. The key to Dante's Divine Comedy. Yeah. So I guess these are can all. You, can you read some of the description <clears throat> of what that is? There are twenty-two. This is. Oh, the, yeah. I gotta spice this up. Yeah, please Jesus. do. Yeah. There are twenty-two basic sounds and letters. Three are the first elements, water, air, fire, fundamentals, or mothers. Seven are double letters, and 12 are simple letters. The three fundamental letters have as their basis the balance. At the end of the scale are the virtues, and at the other, the vices, placed in equilibrium by the tongue of the fundamental letters. Mute like the is mute like the water, WSH, hissing like fire, a re reconciliation between of breath between them. So the thing is, is that like a lot of this is is like really almost like medieval stuff, I love too. It. I love it. And there's like, uh, yeah, Rosicrucian crucifixions. There's I mean, he kind of like pulls a lot of this like occult information from even like they going back to hieroglyphics and stuff. Like, yeah. What is that? The Bembine Table of Isis. What about the Book of the Dead? The uh... Do they have it in here? Yeah. The Tibet, the Tibetan. Book oh, the, of the Tibetan Book of the yeah, Dead. The, the, yeah, the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, for me, is that researching this stuff is cool. Yeah. But like, you, you'd need like a scholar to properly like break right. down to, translations to, to properly break down. Yeah, because. Yeah. You you could you know you could talk to somebody and they're like dude the Masons are like right. crazy evil and then you talk to somebody who's researched it all and, and like, they go it's higher knowledge it's or just something. a historic thing yeah and there it's like it's connected to like pr some pretty basic social and class hierarchies right and, it's like the like, rich it's like the fraternity yeah, it's like, it's you big, couldn't get yeah, into yeah. totally you know they had yeah. the nice house and yeah they're, absolutely they're drinking the, the better wine yeah and yeah. a lot of it is um I I think you know for me it's like it's always like really interesting because with conspiracies, I feel like a lot of times people are trying to look for a meaning in their life or something and or they, like they dive too deep into or it. why is my life messed up? 
Yeah. Or like, why is my life not going well? Right. And then they look for an external source of that. Right. You know, but like for me, like reptilian, like, like when we are cold, disconnected Mm -hmm. and um, unfeeling, Mm -hmm. we're exhibiting reptilian behavior. Right. In a way. Right. And so so I feel like when they talk about reptiles, reptilian, reptilian people, I think they're talking about the cold disconnected parts of our society and the people well, that even the reptilian there. part of our brain too They're, right that, yeah that, that's a real yeah. thing the amygdala yeah, yeah, exactly I think. Yeah. yeah i think that's it is it is that the one the amygdala I, the reptilian part is the survival part i think so yeah the survival yeah because Just the amygdala the, yeah, the amygdala yeah. ch- holds all your traumatic memories so that you can i was survive. gonna ask my intern to look that up real quick okay but, uh, you know she's probably uh I mean, that's probably a large task. I mean, I don't want that's a pretty big yeah. task. She's trying to do operate the recorder and the camera. And I'm like, and she's, yeah, it's fine. But I think that, like, you know, for the most part, people are kind of alienated and atomized in this, like, brutal uh, economic structure, structure. So that I think that people are trying to find different ways of feeling good. And I well, think, you know, like, believing in stuff. Yeah. You know. Do you believe in... Um, like an afterlife or do, do I mean, do you believe that maybe once we're done with this, uh, I guess this lifespan, I mean, do you believe in reincarnation is what I was trying to ask? Like where, you know, we get a man, because a lot of these alien conspiracies think, you know, we go through this light tunnel or we get, you know, transported to the moon or go through some kind of mechanism and then they, they do a, the memory wipe and then you get kind of, and then you get back dropped into okay. a different soul, into a different body, a uh-huh. different experience. And and Buddhists think the same thing as mm-hmm. far as like just, you know, it's a cycle. Yeah. It's just a yeah. Hinduism constant. with the, yeah. ca- yeah, the caste system and yeah, stuff. Yeah, what do you, I mean, because we're, yeah. I mean, we're both in our 40s. I don't, you know, we yeah. have to say the exact we're age, but we're, we can at least, uh-huh. we can see the finish line <laughs> Well, I you think know. the thing is, is that so, I was stringently against any kind of like woo woo, like religious stuff. No, like, no, no. I'm not into I'm not no, saying no, religion. No, spirituality and stuff. I was stringently did not believe in any of that stuff. Mm, but no religion for in me. In the last couple of years, the amount of uh, I, I've been like crushingly depressed and nihilistic my whole life. And so in the last like couple of years, but specifically the last six months, I've just been in extreme trauma therapy and EMDR and like all this stuff. And have and you seen psychiatrists in the past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I recently go. saw. Oh, shout out to Doctor Funk. Um, yeah. I, yeah. So I recently. Okay. Yeah. So, but so this is what is what I feel like is my spirituality is connected to healing the things that um were that have wounded me, mm. and so I'm deeply invested in like understanding that like the things that my parents uh suffered and their burdens was not my fault and that like i never really i had a really like a kind of an emotionally empty childhood give me an example of uh some trauma or <clears throat> i mean you don't have to um but, like because ne- i was like, abused i was physically yeah, abused by me my too. father yeah long oh my did so your dad beat your ass y- yeah he did but he he kind of left and then my mom was was uh, had to take care of us and she was very stressed out and did not have um access to any support and in my opinion most baby boomers are emotionally immature and so that's us right no no we're i'm emotionally immature yeah i mean oh i'm probably more emotionally well i think you're getting there i can (laughs) say (laughs) but i think but the thing is is that the traumas the 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 deep pains and the deep alienations that we hold in us we hold we we hold that inside ourselves or something well we hold that inside well it's up in your amygdala and so that that it's scientific. It, it really those yeah. things are stored. Yeah, like your 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 uh, the amygdala is a part of your brain oh, that no. was developed in in uh, primordial times. Right. Now listen, right, yeah. here's the deal. If you're looking, if you're a caveman and you look and you see a tiger in the in the weeds, that's you, gonna trigger something. Well, what's gonna happen is you're gonna remember that because you're trying to survive in the future. So here's the thing in the future, you're going to see some weeds and they're moving and you're going to be triggered to think there's a tiger there because your amygdala does not know how to tell time. It can't differentiate. It doesn't know what time it is. Your amygdala thinks that you're time is a man made. That's a man. It's a construct of man. Well, you know, this is the whole concept of time. The amygdala as a survival part of your brain is specifically gathering information only to keep you safe. 
So it's survival based. Yeah. But so if there's a threat, yeah, you're gonna remember that threat, and anything that reminds you of that threat that resembles that threat is yeah. gonna, you're gonna correlate it to back then. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Have you have you? I, had... I wasn't expecting to talk about this stuff. Okay. Well, we don't okay. have to no, if you don't no, no, want no, to. No, I want to. Okay. I want to. It's have fine. some chew. Yeah. I want so <laughs> so let me, I will let me have some but chew. let me ask you a question. Like, have you ever had an experience where uh, some you had had an experience that put through you into the same feeling you had when you were little, when your dad was abusing you or like just flipped a switch in you and that you were like, it just brought up emotions. You were just like freaked out. So, uh, I could maybe best answer that as far as maybe, uh, talking about what kind of emotions are you talking about? Like uh, panic and fear. Sure. Yeah. Like fight or flight, you know? Yeah. Okay. So that's your amygdala trying to keep you safe, but the, your amygdala doesn't know that that person's not your dad. Right, right. But you're, you're, it's reminding you that this is a, sim, a situation similar to what you had with your dad. And well, it's like, I, 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 you know, I'll tell you this much. I, I really don't like that feeling. Neither do I. Yeah. It's a trauma I, reaction. You're yeah. you're deeply traumatized oh, by I'm this. Deeply, but, deeply yeah, yeah, traumatized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm deeply traumatized. But listen, let me tell you that you don't have to be that way. And okay, so getting back to okay, I want to talk okay, about when this. When did this turn to? I thought we we're no, talking about your art. Listen, listen, into listen, like psychotherapy, listen, brother. No, but no, but listen, Holy. listen. But you you asked me about um, do I believe in the afterlife stuff? Mm. And so I'm gonna get back to that because that has something to do with this. Okay, go ahead. Skin. So. I never believed in any of that stuff until I until I realized that actually me directly focusing as much resources and time and energy as I can on my healing, going to 12 step programs. Uh, Wait, we got that in common. Huh? Doing doing tons of therapy, doing. I didn't even ton- know about that. I yeah, mean, I didn't even know that. Well, it's an uh, the 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 spirit this- the spiritual foundation is anonymity, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. Oh, cool. I could, oh, okay. I, tap on okay. It. I go to a different one. But it's st- same principles. Yeah. Traditions. Okay. Okay. That's so, fine. Yeah. Um, so, but the thing is, is that I never believed in any of that shit. But I remember my aunt said a long time ago, and she's a real trippy spiritual person. I mm. talk about her too. Yeah, but she yeah. said, um, you know, that people live their lives um, – in a reincarnated fashion until they learn the lessons they're supposed to learn. And then that's when you get to stop and end. And then you, but what happens then you, then you get boosted into the fifth, DM, sixth, seventh the, dimension. The DMT entity comes and takes and you to he, hell. He, he, <laughs> he, he picks you up in the UFO taxi and then boom. So, so getting healing for me has been a very kind of a spiritual thing because I'm like, Oh, this is what it's like to feel okay with the universe. This is what it's like to love myself Mm. and and provide myself with like an experience on earth that isn't just totally horrible with like suicidal ideations, nihilism, like alienation, sadness, you know, and, and my, my body felt like shit all the time. Wait, is that, is it because, uh, just the the way you felt like your depression depression and and uh and it gets real it gets really bad and and uh yeah so i mean i'm feeling i'm feeling good but like you know i had to really yeah you know with you know 12-step program and and other things you have to hit rock bottom before you can move forward not only that it's like you have to take some kind of accountability in uh, as far as your part in everything Mm -hmm. you can't be pointing the finger at the world and people. If you point you, the finger, you got three fingers pointing back, back at exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> so in that sense, that's good for people like us because it's like you kind of have to uh, look at your side, of, as they would say, keep your sidewalk, your end of the sidewalk clean. Keep your side of the sidewalk side of, clean. Exactly. Your side yeah. of the sidewalk clean. Yeah. Um, so are you saying that's interesting? Mm-hmm. So when do you think is it kind of like let's refer to Star Wars or something? It's like so I think this might be my last time on Earth. I think you're yeah. right. You're, you're I like, think this is like, it. So I, yeah. as far as Star Wars, if I do it right, so if you're I, like more like Yoda than almost close to Yoda. Oh, I'm like a because Yoda, Yoda, you know, yeah, he went through it. Yeah, and, and I'm more like. I guess uh, not. I, I'm not a Padawan. No, but uh, I'm more like Chewbacca. Or something. No, 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 no. Let's keep it on the Jedi's. Chewbacca. Oh yeah, Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wish he say, was. I though. would say maybe a luck, a young Luke. Just sure, young Luke. No. Well, well, Luke when he went to the Dagobah system, 
to train. Not Luke when he was in the volcano on the on the side of the volcano, like. Ah! No, 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 no! I didn't want to bring up that movie. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't that that ethos that doesn't even count for me. Dude. Come on, man, let's keep Empire right, Strikes let's Back. Keep, hey, let's, yeah, yeah, let's the real keep ones, it, the real ones. Strikes Back. Yeah, the real ones, the first three: New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. I'm more like, you know, <laughs> Luke in the Dagobah trying to figure it out still. Mm -hmm. You know, re how about this? You know how um his uh, X wing got stuck in the swamp. Yeah. And, and y so you're <laughs> cool. you're you're more like Yoda where you're like, oh yeah, it's not the rock. You could just levitate. You could. It, it's it's not the size of the object. Yeah. And you you know internally, no, I could. It's the whole thing I get lift up. Yeah. But I'm more like Luke, like, I, I don't know if that's possible mm. where I thought these other things I need to be working on is what I need to be working on. But well, I feel like I'm the overall bigger picture. Well, I, I, I think so. But I still feel like maybe I'm more like where where you're at. No, I'm not. At the, a little bit more I'm not at the Yoda. Well, I mean, I'm feeling good. Want, this but, is the first time in 40 years in the last dude, six months I haven't been super depressed. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Well, I'm, I'm not, a newbie, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, I it's hard to talk about it, but there was – I mean, I had to go see a psychiatrist because I couldn't even get out of bed. Like, yeah. I, I was I was really going through it, man. Yeah. And I, it was just – it was one of those – it was like literally weighing on me. I'm like, I, I don't want to get out. I, I lost weight. I didn't want to eat. All that. You were depressed. Yeah, but then I saw, you know, I'm not saying, look, it's already kind of like on both ends of the spectrum as far as like getting on meds. Look, it's helped me. Yeah, I don't know. Me too. But, 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 but I, I'm on thing. Prozac. I take yeah, Prozac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm on Lexapro. Okay, yeah. cool. And um, and, it, and it's, the thing is, I it, I feel, it's kind of feel the same, but it, it helps me a little bit. It hasn't like okay. drastically changed anything. Yeah, it yeah. just make it, it makes it easier for me to at least do like my day to day tasks without like okay. wanting to, you know. Are you still seeing therapists? Yeah, I need to. I need to make another appointment with him, and I use I go to Arizona for that because it's cheaper than California. So uh, I, I found a good guy out there. Uh, okay, so you where, fly to Arizona? Well, well, it's it, to me. I mean, out oh, here. Oh, zoom. You zoom it. No, no, no. Uh, you can. Okay. I'd rather see the guy though. Yeah. I mean, I can can zoom it, but. Uh, I, do you uh, do you have do you have like what's your social activities like? Do you do you like hang out with people a lot and stay connected to people? And yeah, well, well, I'm kind of forced to because of the the twelve step program I'm a part of. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I look forward to that because it's it gets cool. me out of myself where I'm like. Yeah. And but this is the thing: a lot of my own problems are just self created in my head. Oh yeah, we create our we, own I, problems. We create our own problems. A lot problems. of problems aren't even problems. Exactly, <laughs> they're not even real problems. We create these. Our brain takes us for a little ride. Not only a ride, <laughs> but I mean, I have novels. I have, I have my own chapters and, well, and books. You, and you know what in that my is? Head is uh, creating, uh, creating ideas and building stories. Like there's like uh, uh, anticipating the worst. But, you know, uh, that's also survival mechanism stuff, it's like building those yeah, stories, because yeah. it's like your brain is going into overdrive trying to figure out how to protect you. And it's like, are these people trustworthy? Is this the, is this like this? Is this like that? Well, like, but why is it so I convince myself? No, this person is doing this. Yeah. yeah. And they're telling this person that, you know, yeah, and yeah. I come up with this whole yeah. Like map uh -huh. of like yeah. connecting the dots. The Charlie Day map. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could do a whole sc screenplay on yeah, it. Yeah. I don't, I think that that's a, um, that's yeah. like, that's like kind of a, a paranoia that comes from being wounded. And I think that, like, yeah. I, I think that the thing is, is that you have to give yourself permission not to build that reality if you don't think it's, if it's, if it's not benefiting you. It's not. It's not. It's, and it's, it's not. It's not. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. If anything, it's like, oh, do I have to sharpen yeah. some knives in uh -huh. here? Or, yeah, or I know. Do I need to? You know, I don't. But I don't yeah. want to go that route. Well, here's because a lot of people, yeah. a lot of humans, like even in the um the prison systems. Yeah. It's that you know they they made the that theory, yeah. that window where you could go A or B. They, well, you they know, chose the wrong one. There's a few little mantras that I I keep as like um. You know, like judgment can't really exist where like love, like love oh. can't exist if you're being judgmental, judgmental. Yeah. and be you can't huh. you can't be curious if you're being critical. Huh. So it's like if it's like, is this true? And also, here's the other thing is that if you don't ask people about 
thoughts that you have or if you don't ask them like um hey did you do this or yeah you're not giving them the chance to be a good guy you're not giving them the chance to tell you that you were wrong about the paranoia right you know right, and then right. and then because a lot of people i imagine want that chance and to, then oh but the things the thing is sometimes we're, we convince ourselves to the point where we're not allowing them to even have that opportunity yeah so and you that's gotta, not fair. No, not to them. And to yourself, not at all. Because you know what? 99% of the time, the stuff I come up with, yeah. it ain't true. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not even true. No, because your brain is doing its little magic uh, dance. The fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> You're going Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, oh, your brain is trying to lift oh, the fucking airplane, yeah, the, the ship oh, out yeah. of the swamp. You're like, no. Oh, I'm trying to do Millennium Falcon shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, but, but the thing is, um, there's certain things that aren't good for my mental health. Like, I mm -hmm. I can't go on certain forums. I, I don't go on Reddit or oh, no. I don't do any of that Best stuff. That's not to. Yeah. Because, That's for other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already, look, look I, I already have my own Reddit. I already have my own Reddit. I have my own Reddit forms in here. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to to yeah. read there's something a, about me. There's lots of people and they're typing away. Oh, but, but if it's about me yeah. and it's like, oh, they're I, that doesn't serve me. Eat bad or good. Well, bad, bad or good. Or, yeah, bad ba or good. Bad or good, it almost doesn't have anything to do with you anyways. No. Because the only time that people are really trying to see you and receive you is if they're being curious and not critical. So like the Wait, thing. Wait, say that again. That's interesting. The only the only time that people are really trying to receive you and understand who you are is if they're being curious and not critical. Huh. So like that's the only time that people are really trying to understand like where you're coming from for real. Because have you ever noticed that when you like talk to somebody and like they're just like, oh, I really like you know they'll they'll tell you something about the way you do something, the way you live your life, if it's your humor or it's like, like your an insight. observation like yeah, this an stuff. observation. Okay, and you're like, oh wow, you like noticed me kind of for real. You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of people just being like, whatever, man, cool, yeah, I don't care. You know, and they're not, but like people who pay attention and are present. And a lot of times people on forums just are there so that they can have their feelings heard or their thoughts heard. It's for them. It's oh. not even about you. It's oh, like, right. and also the projections that people create about others is insane. Like they don't know you. They don't know yeah. me. They don't know anybody. You, you, know, you know what's crazy? Because I have so many <laughs> hours documented podcasting. Uh -huh. And even after all this, yeah, all the content yeah. I put out, out there in the world, they still don't know who I really uh, am. No, of course not. They don't really know me. I don't, I don't imagine that but any the, of But them... the thing is, I only show them what I want to show them as well, though. Well, we're I mean, because in a way, I'm like kind of safeguarding myself. You're protecting well. I'm yourself. I'm protecting myself too. This though. is the yeah. the performance industrial complex that yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, an hour flew by. Is it an hour? I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. No. No. Well, hey, you sorry. know what I can say about Star Wars yeah. is that uh, <laughs> is that the uh, I I uh, I I assisted Phil Tippett, the guy who did all the stop motion on Star Wars. I assisted him on Mad God, his movie, and then he directed. Uh, some of the live action scenes of my film. Of film. That's so, dope. so can we talk about? Is that cool? That's yeah, cool. yeah. Can we talk about? Um, He's so grumpy. Your, uh, yeah. I want to talk. Go back to your art. Yeah, I really want to yeah. showcase. But this I also, stuff. before we do that, I want to say, if you ever want to just talk as friends outside of podcasts, I'm here for you. I, I, I uh, care I about you. I appreciate right? that. Yeah. And uh, shout out to my cousin Eddie too. Um, Eddie Lee. Yeah. You yeah. did it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> We love Eddie. I love um, Eddie. He's yeah. sweet. He has a really beautiful smile. Oh, Do you notice yeah. how it like lights up? Yeah. The room? yeah. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you? Yeah, yeah. No, there was. A, I love you, I buddy. Love you I'm too, sorry. Brother. There was a lot of psychotherapy. <laughs> I thought we we're gonna talk goblins. I thought we we're gonna be talking about ghosts and goblins. Everybody and aliens, thinks they're gonna but talk we, uh, about goblins. Gobl and me, but goblins they and never ghosts do. and reptilians. <laughs> but we went deep into psychotherapy, trauma, all this stuff, yeah. which is cool. It's important. To it's me. important. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Can we talk about? Um, <laughs> How people could support your art. The oh, best, God. The best way. How could someone support Skinner's art the best way possible, my friend? The best way, I would say, is to um, contribute to the Kickstarter if you feel like it. I would love that. Um, there's lots of, like, sh there's cool shirts. There's cool toys. There's prints. There's Blu-rays, DVDs, all this stuff. 
and the movie will be 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I am in negotiations with Screenbox, a streaming service, mm -hmm. to lengthen it to 80 minutes mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. a full-length mm -hmm, film. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to do that, but I still have to get over this $80,000 hump to get the film finished. Right, right, right. And um, so you can support that Shrine of Abomination on Kickstarter. Um, I also sell like prints and shirts and weird stuff on my web store which mm. you can can we can plug that go ahead yeah bay go merch baymerch.com and then just click on the skinner part when are you gonna re-up on them hoodies that <laughs> I like? the reptilian hoodie i, like. I need to yeah when are you gonna re-up when are you gonna re-up on those i know dude i i really do i i want to do more alien ufo yeah, stuff but man. i always i always get a i will say i get afraid that people are gonna start to think that I, because I feel <laughs> that, that lost, I'm like crazy. That you yeah. lost your marble. Yeah, because I <laughs> because it's hard because you yeah, know yeah, because yeah. the thing is is like you know, it, it is hard. Like <laughs> I used to be like I used I used to think that career suicide was fun and funny because yeah. I was like whatever fuck it. But now I'm like. I care about everything so deeply right, because I'm healthy right. yeah, that I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. want people to think I'm crazy now because yeah. I used to not care. Cause I was like, this is all part of my self annihilation stupidity <laughs> trip that I'm on this rocks. But now I'm like, no, no, I, don't, I, I, yeah. I care about it all. Your Instagram as well, Skinner? <laughs> the Art of Skinner on Instagram. And I just got back on Twitter like a scumbag, and I'm ripping it hard You're over there. ripping it hard, dude. <laughs> Go follow Skinner. At Skinner. <laughs> um, one last thing. Three kind of pieces of advice you could give to up-and-coming aspiring artists. How does one get this good at art? Three pieces. Um... Uh, okay, so I would say that developing an ultra, uh, an, a, a solid discipline or practice. So you are going to not be as good as you want to be for a long time. And you have to be patient with yourself. And you have to appreciate that those moments of imperfection and when you're not good are actually a totally important and beautiful part of your story. So you have to go with it. It's like the Rocky Balboa montage, you know mm. what I mean? That's it, except for it's years long, years. you know? And then, uh, two, I would say don't get discouraged by the idea that maybe the art and the creativity that you're doing is in any way not being, um, I don't know, like absorbed or validated by capitalism because mm. it it does everything it can to strip the spirit out of stuff. So the, the more that you protect yourself in in this world and stay true to your own personal creative rhythm the better mm -hmm. and then the third one is um you only you will know when you're phoning it in and i would recommend that you don't what do you, you mean by that phoning like it in? just like cutting corners on your art or like yeah your short, art but there's like no shortcuts to art though is no it? like you know in your heart, like, and you know too. You're a musician, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, know I'm when you. Working on now, right now. You know when you bullshit. You know, you know when you're phone not doing going a hundred percent. Right. You know, and it's like it's like if it's you you are uh, cutting corners on the amount of time you're supposed to be investing in yourself. If you're cutting corners Ooh. on like you know like just lots of things. Oh yeah, Ooh. you got to invest in yourself, Yo, big dog. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. I, I can know. already tell that I'm gonna leave here, and you're gonna be like, God. Damn, what the fuck was that? I have to restart my whole album because of you, Skinner. <laughs> fuck you, man. You got to have an A and B side. No, I only have three songs done. I'm happy with the three I have done already. Dude, I'm, and really, I have I'm really impressed by the sweet soulfulness of your playing, though. That was really cool. Roll, you, but you, I play the same types of You have, stuff. I can already tell, you have like a really powerful like sensitivity in you and like a soulful a soulful creativity oh as far as my art too i take it seriously well that's what you needed to do seriously. to survive i think i think yeah, that that's I don't, you know i'm not doing it for a commercial success mm -mm. by any means i'm almost 50 <laughs> obviously damn so. 50 all right, dude, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Dude, I thought can we were, I, the, can I just, I thought we're hey, in the 40 can club, I just, brother. Can I just tell you, Holy can I just tell you shit, something? Do I got to bring the teeth back? No, but one of my... Oh, my I, God, brother. I, I, I do this boot camp. Oh, God. I, I, go, I go work out at this boot camp, yeah. and there's this wonderful woman named Sharon, and she's Asian, and she said to me, 
I said, oh, I feel I'm feeling old. She's all white people age like milk, bad milk or something. She said something crazy like that. I was like, God damn. She's like, white people age like milk. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then we'll end it with that. I was all <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm just kidding, man. God damn, I need no. some lotion. Hey, my girlfriend's white. That's cool, yeah. man. Hey, good job, man. Yeah. Get that milk, buddy. <laughs> Get that milk. I got that fresh milk, Congratulations. Baby. I got yeah. that fresh milk, baby. The milk that keeps on giving, baby. Yeah. That vitamin oh, D, baby. Thanks again, for tu- thanks again for tuning in to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. If you want to help support uh, the podcast, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. I do a bonus audio diary log every week. Also, check Scissor Bros out with me and my buddy, Jeremiah Watkins. We'll be in um, Houston, Texas for the Riot Comedy Festival uh, March 24th, okay? We might already be there right by the time this comes out, okay? Um, um, yeah. And then, oh, okay. StevieWeebyBandCamp.com, still working on my album, so be patient with that. As Skinner said, I can't cut corners. Yeah. That's why I'm taking so... That's the thing. I'm not before I would just rush it. Mm. But now I'm like, I'm going to step. You know, like mm. I'm sure it is with painting. Like mm. you'll, you, you, you'll paint a certain thing. You'll be like, you know what? I don't have to finish it tonight. Right. Let me sleep on it. And then the next day you might have a whole different thing that you yeah. didn't get the other day. You got to step away. Yeah. You step yeah. away. Then you step back and go, well, I wouldn't have thought of this new chorus or thing yeah. structure thing that I would have implement it within the song absolutely that's why that's why i mean it's all re- it's all relative i think as it far is, as yeah. painting art music and all that so mm-hmm. i concur s- just be patient with me guys i'm working on it okay um go to um if you want to send any packages or mail or anything i have a p.o box send all your stuff to 1425 north cherokee avenue p.o box 1391 la california 90093 dude it was an honor having you of dude. course Hell thank yeah. you hey dude the best of luck to your your new project Thanks. support that go fund me today okay yeah let's let's get to his i'm trying goal. to get there i'm getting close we're gonna yeah. get there i want to do the like more a, money the better it will be all right i'm gonna do it like i'm gonna try to do a goblin like the middle goblin okay okay <laughs>